Hello again everyone and welcome back. This is Guild Wars 2, but this one is the Matrix Cube Key. Now we're in the Matrisa province, the Asura starting zone, and in the top left hand corner of the screen you've got the Thumanova reactor here. Now this reactor is split into four zones, earth, ice, water and fire. In the earth section I found the Matrix Cube Key. Uh, it's on the floor, you have to pick it up, it's not a drop. And so, it's quite a rare item to find as well. And I found it hidden in this bush, that's why I'm hiding in the bush. Now the person before me found it in the bush opposite over there. And so, if you're trying to get it, I'd recommend checking all the bushes in the earth area. It seems to be where it's placed. Um, someone reported that he got it from killing the fire elemental that you'll see later. Now the matrix cube key allows you to attune it to each element, which is like a puzzle, and then you get an extra boss unlock that everyone can join in on and you get a loot chest there's no achievement for this though which is fair enough but I think there should be it's bloody hard so now you need to attune your key to each element as I said the reactor is split into four zones earth and such this is the earth and so you you go up these stairs and you follow around this jumping puzzle and you do have to fight some enemies and you have to fight them two at a time usually so you may want to bring along a friend and I'd like to say now while uh, I'm fighting through this, is that I am binding my keys, so please don't comment about whether I'm clicking. When I get flustered, I end up clicking a move, um, because I am learning, and so I occasionally revert back to clicking my moves when I get flustered. Okay, and when you get to the end of this little section, you'll get a device, this one's hidden in a bush, and uh, then you attune it to earth, and so now it's attuned to earth. And now you need to do it for the other three. Now if you don't want to watch the rest, that's entirely up to you. And you may want to find out what the end boss is for yourself. I will be showing it, but you can just stop the video where you don't want to see, okay? Okay, so when you go to the water one, you go down to this little sort of river section. And follow it to the end. And then there's a little gap here. You go through here, and there's a, a pinkish crystal. Now you need to destroy that crystal to get to the device. Uh, oozes come out of the crystal and you have to fight them. Now, one was okay. I, I could manage one. But then they start outnumbering you. So I wasn't aware of that. This is a whole learning process for me during the video recording anyway. So if you bring a friend over it might be a bit easier. So you smash it and then you quickly get the attunement. And then you die. Okay, and now the ice attunement. I found this one quite difficult, probably the second hardest. <laughs> I'm leaving the hardest till later. You have to go up here. And uh, you have to do this jumping puzzle. But you've got these, um, I don't know what they are, some like ice platform things. And they're pretty difficult. They knock you over all the time. It's really hard to do this jumping puzzle while these are knocking you over. But you continue on, and then you have to fight one of them and an ice elemental, and they beat the crap out of me. So I had to get reinforcements, some other people to help me. So when I've got reinforcements, we continue on. I don't know where that platform went, it disappeared. Doesn't matter. Well, anyway, you continue up here, and you've got some more enemies to kill. So hopefully, uh, my arm is broke. Bloody hell. Uh, I'm skint. I chose cooking, so terrible. I feel six feet tall. Right, and you can jump across there, but that's not where you have to go. You have to turn left and go up this side passage here. Right, you've got another unstable ice formation, so be careful it doesn't knock you off. It's uh, very dangerous. And then you have to be careful about the ice chilling effect. And then there's your ice device. Okay, so now I've got three elements. Okay, and the fourth and final attunement you need is fire. Now, if you've been to the area, you've probably seen this massive fire elemental, and it's very difficult, very, very difficult. It's pretty much one-shots you with any move it does. See this fire trail coming towards me? Dead. Instantly dead. And so, I mean, I could have saw it, but I didn't know what it was <laughs> to begin with. Fire is usually bad, so I should have dodged. But okay, I got back up. I've 
Um, but he also does these lava fonts on the floor. You see that red ring? If he hits you with that, knocks you down. Three ticks, you're dead. You can't. It's, it's a one-shot kill. You can't get away from it. And so a lot of people will start clustering up on the bridge. And this is a really bad idea. These fonts will kill everyone. It doesn't matter where you are. I think if you run close, you've got more space to manoeuvre. Like this. I seem to be surviving quite well, really close up. You'll get a lot of ads. They seem to really pile on the ads as well. But you just basically have to ignore them. You're going to die a lot on this. I ran out of money for repairs. You constantly have to pay 11 copper to go back to the waypoint. It's very difficult. And you will die a lot. Unless you're not doing anything. <laughs> and basically, I think that's the problem. Everyone stands on the bridge because they're scared of dying, you see. But you're going to die uh, if you try and attack. And so all these guys stand on the bridge. Screw you. I'm going in charge. That's it. Okay. Now we've broken through and he's nearly dead now. So you just got to try and kill him. You can eventually get him down. I once had... It took about 20 minutes because the amount of damage people do is negligible because people are scared to hit him, basically. His fire that you can see, his actual form, doesn't hurt you. It's all the fonts and stuff that he creates within himself. Okay, so he's down and some woman was going to res me, so I stayed there and she buggers off, so sodder. Okay, so I'm going to res myself. And when you've done it, you, you click on the, uh, the bot, the golem, and get your last attunement. Okay, now you've got all the attunements, you go back to the central plaza of the thermonuclear reactor and use this console. This console will get rid of this force field and you'll be able to jump down. Whee! That type of thing, okay? Now, you can stop the video here uh, if you don't want to see the last boss, the final secret boss. Um, and thank you for watching if you do so. Uh, but if you choose to stay, then let's have a go. Huzzah! I think about six of us jumped down. You know, it's hard to get people's attention because people don't know what they're doing. And so people start running away. But this is him, a steam golem. As you can see at the minute, I'm clicking my buttons. I got a bit flustered. I was scared what he was going to do. I thought it was going to be hard on the fire elemental, but he, he's not as hard as the fire elemental. That was overpowered. They need to tone him down quite a bit. Um, but now I'm keybinding successfully. Now I've got a bit more confidence. See? So... He seems quite easy. Someone's kiting him. We keep kiting him off each other and such. He seems to beat the crap out of me, but I'm pretty good at stunning him and getting ailments on him and such. So he's a pretty easy boss, I find. So that's it. That's the Matrix Cube Key in a nutshell. That's a nice little puzzle. I think they should have had an achievement in a very difficult puzzle. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you managed to get it or experience this. And I died, okay, I died. But I won, I didn't get resurrected though, which is a shame. Thanks much, Lee. And of course, after you've killed him, you get some nice experience, karma and coins, and you get a nice chest with some gear. Uh, the gear was useless for me, medium head gear and a foci, which is pretty rubbish, so the loot wasn't that good. So then you jump through the portal and it's finished. Thank you for watching.